Welcome to another Tea Time with Tanya. I just got back from getting a chiropractic adjustment. Actually, more like three. <laughs> my hip has been locked up, my middle black back has been out of alignment, and my neck has been a mess that's been causing some ear issues. So, um, interesting, I was like, you know, I haven't been sick for the past year. But I've got all these aches and pains, so taking care of all that. And what was really interesting is he was talking about how my neck is, by unlocking my neck and getting an adjustment in my neck, it can actually open up my, my throat chakra for expression, because I was talking about you know the, the process of, of writing my book. So it was, I'm like, yes, awesome, excited to get back on the table for an adjustment. Haven't done it in like two years. So, now that I'm feeling all energized from that, I um, wanted to share with you something that happened earlier today and around the topic of competition versus collaboration and what is it that stops us from collaborating? What stops us from being part of a tribe? And this is such an amazing case study and example. So what happened is someone reached out to me via Facebook and said, uh, I just wanted to reach out and share my truth that I felt a little bit betrayed because you never came to me and shared that you were studying the tribal truth men. And it, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing work with men right now. And so instead of responding via email or Facebook, I said, thank you, let's have a conversation, right? Like this is, this is something where she's leaning in, she's speaking her truth, I'm gonna lean right in with her right? No competition. Let's not even go towards my reaction to it, right? It's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to open my heart and have a conversation. So we get on the phone. She's just so open and just, you know, says, let's create a sacred space so that we can really connect. And um, I was like, this is really a woman who is walking the walk, who is, um, someone who's really interested in breaking through any of the stuff that's coming up. Because I think what's typical is we feel that competition, we feel that reaction, and we shut down, we shut it off, we disconnect. And I think this is the first step is when you're feeling the competitive nature, you're feeling perhaps some jealousy coming up, some um, disconnect from someone, to lean in and to speak your truth and to use truth telling as a way of connecting and creating collaboration instead of withdrawing into the disconnect of competition. So we had this beautiful conversation and what it came down to is she just wanted to be recognized, right? Like she just wanted me to reach out and say, hey, this is what I'm doing. And to be honest, it didn't even cross my mind. Um, and so now what's amazing about this is she's now in my awareness, someone who I can collaborate with because I never saw it as competition. I see us as doing completely different things. But she said something that I thought was really, really important. And that is that she had some stuff come up um, around the fact that we're doing similar work now. And, um, and, you know, and, and feeling like everyone's doing women's work, but who's working with the men? And, you know, just kind of feeling like everyone was kind of crowding into the same room, right? Like too many cooks in the kitchen. And I said, wow, well, that's really interesting that you share that because that was exactly the reaction that came up in our group around creating the Tribal Truth Men's event in San Diego. Because there was another leader who created a co-ed event and... You know, I was feeling that inside myself of like, I've got to, you know, like everyone's starting to do this and are we all going to be able to be all able to do this? Are we going to saturate the market? Right. And what it comes down to is there are how many billion of people, how many billions of people on this planet? Is there really any competition? Even in San Diego, millions of people. If I'm doing it and someone down the street is doing it, we both have our individual ways of leading and serving. We each have our unique message, our gift, our community, our individual community. There is plenty to go around. There really is no reason for us to compete. 
And so the invitation is, if you're feeling this come up, to speak your truth and to engage in a conversation, it's only through the truth telling and having these conversations that we will create a more unified, interconnected, and collaborative society. But if we disengage when we feel it in our body, because it's a feeling in the body, then it's just gonna repeat. It's just gonna keep the, the, the pattern and the cycle going. More competition, more competition. We've gotta lean in. So would love to hear from you. What do you hear for yourself? Have you had this competitive feeling come up and what did you do with it? Do you have some advice around how to lean into collaboration when you're feeling competitive? Would love to hear your feedback and your insights on this topic because I think it's so important for us to look at of what are these things that's keeping us separate, keeping us alone and doing it on our own and feeling competitive. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.